Let me ask y'all one serious question before we start this video. Where was all the outrage when Patrick Queen took the legend care of Vetvix number six? Don't get mad. Uh -huh. It's just what it is. What it is. Yeah, we talking sports shot out in Graven Vance. Yeah, this feels like a dream. So YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's Engraven here with another video and in this video yesterday got very 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 ugly uh, So many people tried to twist and turn this whole Hollywood Brown changing his number to number five They tried to make it disrespect to Joe Flacco They tried to say oh Hollywood he doesn't deserve to wear number five Hollywood shouldn't wear number five Hollywood is disrespecting what Flacco did for the Baltimore Ravens and that could not be further from the truth. Him changing his jersey number is by no means, no disrespect to Joe Flacco whatsoever. Whatsoever. Numbers that nobody will ever wear for the Baltimore Ravens are 52, number 20, number 75. And 55 and 73, they, they probably gonna be there too. But again, those three numbers, 52, 20, and 75, Nobody's going to wear those. Why? But why? Because those guys are Hall of Famers. But another thing, those guys, the level of their play, the consistent level of their play was amazing. They are all Super Bowl champions, but it, it's not just about that. It's about how good, no, 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 how great they were for a long period of time. And they, all three of them, were some of the best, not in their division. All three of them were not just some of the best in their conference. All three of them were some of the best in the league for the period of time that they played. Joe Flacco. Ravens fans, we love Joe Flacco. Love him. Appreciated everything that he did for the Baltimore Ravens. That Super Bowl run, amazing. His playoff record, Amazing. I think he even holds the record for most uh, playoff wins away. So not even at the crib. So great. Good job, Flack. But when you look at his level of play and what his version of consistency was, he was never one of the best quarterbacks in the league. He wasn't. Now, he did get, you, you knew what you were, well, actually, you didn't know what you were getting at Flacco a lot of the times. In the playoffs, after a couple years, you knew what you were getting. But regular season, we know it was a roller coaster. It was definitely a roller coaster. But we were certainly along for the ride. We, we enjoyed it. It stressed us out a lot. It stressed, oh boy, it stressed us out a lot. But Joe Flacco was not this Hall of Fame player, and I say this in no disrespect to Joe Flacco whatsoever, but just with this whole number thing, so many people have blown it way out of proportion, and it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. They're trying to make this thing something that it's not. It's not disrespect whatsoever. But again, Joe Flacco was always a 25 touchdown, 12 interception type of quarterback. He wasn't putting up these gaudy numbers, anything, week in, week out. He wasn't out here killing it on the field week in, week out. But Joe Flacco, it was just, it, it was a roller coaster. <laughs> a definite roller coaster. And I saw somebody say it the other day. Some, somebody was like, yesterday. They said, man, these, a lot of these same people that were just ready to get rid of Joe Flacco, ready to move on from Joe Flacco. Now all of a sudden they're getting upset when somebody else takes the number. Really? Come on. And again, so much of this negative energy has been channeled at Hollywood Brown. Oh, he doesn't deserve to wear the number. Oh, I'm not going to root for him anymore. Oh, man, I don't like Hollywood Brown anymore. Really? I know the first time he catches a touchdown pass. Same people right now saying, oh, I'm not going to root for Hollywood anymore. I don't like Hollywood anymore. I'm tired of Hollywood. Oh, he doesn't deserve to wear the number. Same people saying all that stuff. They're going to be right there cheering, screaming, jumping up and down. And that number is going to be an afterthought because they're going to be celebrating him scoring touchdowns. But something to think about, because, again, some people be like, oh, man, the Hollywood is so disrespectful to Joe Flacco. He doesn't deserve to wear the number. Who gave the number out? Who gave Hollywood the OK for wearing number five? 
Did Hollywood just decide, you know what, one day, I'm aware of number five. Did, is that his own decision? Well, it is his decision, but he has to get approval. And who does he have to get approval from? Think about that. He has to get it from the Baltimore Ravens. They have to give him the okay to change his number to wear the number five. And did they do that? Well, certainly they did. Certainly they did. So before you get all upset, oh man, I hate Hollywood. I don't like Hollywood. He shouldn't be allowed to wear it. The Ravens gave it away to him. They allowed him to wear it. So all this same negative energy, and I'm not saying take that negative energy out on Hollywood. Don't take it out on the Ravens. Keep it to yourself. But you got to think about where he got approval from. Joe Flacco's number is not retired. Joe Flacco will certainly be in the ring of honor when all that time comes. He'll be, that's, that's for sure. We know that. He's going to retire a Raven whenever that time comes. But his number is not retired in the organization that drafted him, the organization that he won a Super Bowl with, the organization where he has all these records and, and he is their best franchise quarterback ever. He holds all the records for being the best franchise quarterback ever for now. That same organization, they allowed Hollywood to wear his number. So my point is, if they ain't tripping over it, then y'all shouldn't be tripping over it either. They shouldn't. It's funny, somebody on Twitter yesterday, they said, man, with, a, <laughs> with Joe Flacco, um, they, they were like, and then again, we, we know that he is the Ravens. He, he's been their best franchise quarterback in the in their entirety of their history. We know that. But... With Joe Flacco, um, somebody made a good point that anybody that comes behind him, besides the Super Bowl, of course, but nobody's going to be like, oh, man, <laughs> that's going to be a tough act to follow there. They're not. And again, that's no disrespect to Flacco, but again, his career, what his career was, especially regular season, it, just, it, it wasn't anything where it's like, oh, my gosh, those are some eye-popping numbers. How does he do it? It's not. So I just let we love loved and appreciated Flacco. But let's just let's not make this something that it is not. We can't make this something that it's not. This is not a slight to Flacco at all. Hollywood, before it was even a thought that he would be on the Baltimore Ravens, I think that he was in college. And I think that maybe his number was number five. Was it? I don't know. I can't recall. But Hollywood wearing the number five, nothing to do with Flacco. This is his own choice. This is him. And he going back. NFL wanted to implement college rules. And I saw some people in the comment section yesterday. They said, hey, sometimes people, you look good. You feel good. You play good. Now, of course, we would want people to play good regardless of what their number is. But, hey, sometimes that may give them a little boost. And I saw somebody else in the comment section say, hey, these a lot of these players, they, they were balling in college. And I, maybe they want to get that little, that, that little feel again of having that college number. So maybe this is what Hollywood is doing. Going back to the number that got him to be a first round draft pick. So again, this is no disrespect to Joe Flacco. It's really not. So let's not even try to make it that. Even Lacey DaCosta just, she just bought her son a Hollywood Brown number five jersey. Lacey DaCosta. Who is that? That is the wife of GM Eric DaCosta. So obviously everybody from the top down is supporting the move. Everybody. So the fact that all these fans are tripping out about it and whatnot, again, the Ravens gave him the blessing. They said, oh, yeah, number five is all yours. Take it, Hollywood. Do your thing, Hollywood. Oh, you want number five? No problem. We ain't retired that number. No. Now, now 52, if you want to go to 52, Hollywood, no. You want to go to 20, no. You want to go to 75, no. Even though those would be very, very ugly numbers for a wide receiver. But... They gave him five. No problems. So I don't think Ravens flock should have no problems with him wearing it.
So again, just like Hollywood is when it comes to wearing a number 15, I'm out. <laughs>